So hey guys, today I'm doing my what I got for Christmas video. I'm a bit late with this, like, quite late. I'm, I just haven't had a chance to film it yet because basically my Christmas starts on Christmas Day and then it goes all the way up until New Year visiting family and friends and stuff. So I couldn't film it in between because then I wouldn't have had everything to show you and yeah, basically. So I had to wait until after New Year to be able to show you everything and I think I've got everything. I've left out a few things which I thought you guys just would not be interested in, like, not that you I don't know how to say it. Basically, I've put in everything I think you guys would be interested in and I'm going to start off with kind of like my main presents and I'm going to go on to kind of the makeup beauty section. Then I'm going to kind of phase through to like clothing and like everything else so that if you guys, you know, kind of more interested in the makeup, you don't care about anything else, you can just click off after that and, you know, ah, uh, you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm not going to ramble on too long because this is going to be a really long video. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So my first main biggest present for my parents was a new phone and my contract was up anyway so I was kind of, um, my dad had asked me sort of like what phone did I like and you know such and such. I kind of had a little inkling that I was going to get a phone but I got the Samsung Galaxy S3, it came in this really nice box and that's just what it looks like. It's a massive phone but it's a really really great phone. I have my dad's old case on it because he had the same phone as me so that's why I've got a really unattractive case at the moment but yeah I've got it in um, the pebble blue one so it means it's kind of blue. But yeah, really great phone. Show me the background. If it works. Da -da, there we go. So yeah, that was my main present and I really love it. Um, I think I got the six, yeah, 16 gigabyte one. So yeah, pretty good phone. Pretty good present. So yeah. My other big present was a penny board. I got this one, for, which is an actual, like a real penny board. And it's like the one with the red and white spots. Um, it just looks like this. I asked for this but didn't expect to get it because my mum was like, you're never going to use a penny board. And I was like, yes I will. But yeah, basically I just got this penny board. Well, I'm going to throw it. It's really heavy and it's wet because I just washed it because it was pretty disgusting. It's still pretty dirty. I mean, you can't really see it luckily on camera. But yeah, I just love it. I've used it loads so far and I can't wait for the summer so I can use it properly because in the rain and the wet, it's good but it's not as good as it would be in the summer where it's dry and yeah. So I can't wait to use this more. So to start off in the makeup section, I'll start off with what my boyfriend got me, which was the first thing I got. I got this on Christmas Eve, actually, um, because we did our presents beforehand, so yeah. I got the Naked Basics palette from him, which is absolutely amazing, and I'm, like, I'm in love with this thing. So it just comes, like, it comes with, like, that. It has six shades. They're all matte, apart from the very first one, which is Venus, and I think one of the other ones... No, I think they all are. I think Foxy's, like satin or something but they're pretty much all matte they're amazing it's so cute it's actually smaller than I was kind of expecting it to be but it's still like a really handy size and it feels so nice and it's just so luxurious and I love this and I'm trying to not use it every day but I just can't resist it's so cute and I love this so he's really good really good at picking presents apparently he also got me a perfume set and he got me something else but I'm gonna show you that later um so the perfume set was this white musk I think it's this white musk libertine libertine from the body shop and it came in this really cute little um tin which I've now filled with all my chocolate but yep yeah, came that and then inside you get the actual perfume which looks like this and it smells amazing I'm really bad at describing scent but you got that and then you got the um fragrance mist version as well and they are so nice and I can't wait to use both of them I'm probably gonna put this in my school bag you know the only thing is it's glass so I'm scared I might break it but I really really love both of these they're amazing Next up I got the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I filmed first impressions, kind of mini review of this, and it's absolutely amazing. It feels so nice, and yeah, my nan got me this, and I really love it, and I can't wait to use it even more. Again, it's one of those things that I don't want to use every day because it's really expensive, but I really love it, and it makes my under eyes look amazing before I put my, um, oh, before and after I put my stuff on. It just looks great. So yeah, I got that. Then my mum got me this, um, Nails Ink, Kate Spade, it's from the Glamour magazine but I still think it's really cute. Um, a nail varnish which I actually forgot I had and I found it in like the bottom of my, um, so I had like a, I, kept, I left a box out of stuff that I got for Christmas so that I could do this video. And it's just, I don't even know if it's a black or a really dark blue but it's just that one that came in the like um, more recent Glamour magazine thing that they did. But yeah, really love that, it's really cute. Then I got a nail varnish from Butter London which I love and I literally had it on my nails until last night and then I took it off. Um, it's Butter London The Black Knight and it's just this black nail varnish with um, kind of pink, purple, blue, gold, loads of different like glittery speckles in it. Can I focus it for you? Like that and it looks absolutely stunning. It's so pretty. You need about two or three coats to get it like really nice but once you do, I love Butter London nail varnishes so much. I also got another nail varnish this time. Um, this is a Avon opal, to op op opal top coat and it comes in this box like this 
And this is amazing. I'm really in love with this. Uh, it's from Avon, I think I said that, yeah. And it's just one of these kind of like flaky um, top coat things. So I might actually put it over my nail varnish I have on now, which is from Kiko. But yeah, really love this. I can't wait to use that more. Also from Avon, I, Ave, Avon, Avon, whatever you want to say. Um, Ave, I can't say it, Avon. I have this little, it's like a little nail art um, brush. On one end you have like a little dotter and on the other hand you have a really fine brush and I haven't tried this out yet but I literally can't wait to because I've always wanted a nail art brush. I've had the dotters and stuff but I've always wanted a brush I'm so excited to try this. And it's perfect, it comes in like a little wallet so it's really good to travel with if you wanted to take this on holiday with you to do some nail art. This would be really cool. So yeah, got that. Then something I'm really really excited about is this Real Techniques um, limited edition duo fibre collection. Oh. They're amazing. You get a duo fiber face brush, which is the big one, a duo fiber contour brush, and a duo fiber eye brush. Personally, my favorite is definitely the big um, face brush. The contour brush is good, but from, it's a bit too stiff for my liking, and same with the eye brush, but I'm sure I'm gonna find a way of, work, um, find a way of working them. I've never had, um, I've had the stippling brush, which is duo fiber, but I've never had any, like, a set of duo fiber brushes, and I'm really, really loving them. Um, only thing I would say about this set is for three brushes, I think it's about £30, which is a little bit expensive. But I suppose it is limited edition, so you might want to get it now before it goes, you know, out of stock or whatever. But really, really love this. And it's so cool. I really want more duo fiber brushes now because they just put everything on and they blend everything out so beautifully. Yeah, love this. I also got for my friend Molly the Soap and Glory Mist You Madly um, fragrance, the body spray. Which I didn't think I liked, but I really do. I um I sprayed it on someone else. I think that maybe do soap and glory do more than one scent? I'm not sure. But I think I've smelled one of them before and I didn't like it very much. And then I sprayed this, I was like, oh this is so nice. So yeah, I really love this. She also got me the soap and glory, I think this is like the flake away. Yeah, the flake away scrub, which I haven't really had a chance to try yet, because I put it in my little drawer in my bathroom and then I just completely forgot about it because it went to the back. So I'm really excited to try this. She also got me the soap and glory. Wait, where is it? She also got me this Open Glory body butter, but I think it's in my bag and I can't find it. But I know I have it somewhere. And then, last thing she got me was the Vaseline Limited Edition Paint the Town Red Lip Tint. And this is so cool. It's like a really, really, um, it looks really dark and red, but when you put it on it just gives you a really, really beautiful red sheen um, to your lips. So yeah, this is so cool. I really like this. Then, from my mother and father, well, you know, Father Christmas. Um, this is in my stocking. Actually, this I technically got two things, but then only really one of them was given to me. So this is kind of confusing. I got the purifying um, face mask from um, Superdrug from the Witch Hazel Mud Mask, which is this here, and it's so good. I put it on um, a couple of days ago, and you basically get like how much you get? 75 mil. It's so amazing. I really, really love this face mask. And then my sister got this one, which is the de-stressing aloe vera version, but she was allergic to it, so she gave it to me. I was like, yes. Um, but yeah. They're really good, and I don't think they're that much money. I think they're about £3, maybe. Not sure. Really good little cute presents as well. So yeah, got those. From my nan and granddad, one of my presents that I got was the Satsuma Body Puree. Oh my god, if you've watched me for a while, you'll know that Satsuma is my favourite scent from the body shop, and I love this stuff. I have, I got one of these last Christmas, and I've completely finished it up. It's so good, so I'm really glad I've got another one. And I also got from my friends Amelia and Anna, I got some um, Umbertio Gio... Gio... Gio yeah, um, <laughs> Pure Beauty Echo Shampoo and Condition. I've used these a couple of times and they're really nice. Really odd packaging though. I'll explain what I mean. Right, so you think this lid is like, it's like massive and then you like open it and it's like, st it comes all the way up. Like, this confuses me because I opened it, I was like, whoa, it's a really much bigger bottle than you think. But yeah, anyway, I think it's kind of cool packaging actually. It looks really nice. Yeah, these are really nice shampoos and conditioners. I really like to get um, other people buy me things like this, like things that you wouldn't normally think like as a present. Because um, I would never buy these myself, I just go, you know, pick up whatever's on offer and um, like the Tresemme stuff. But I really like to try out new products like this, so this is a really good present for me to kind of, you know, try out things I'm not used to trying out. Because I probably wouldn't have picked these up if I was in the shop because I would have just been like, you know, some fancy, you know, hairdressers stuff and I probably wouldn't have bought it. But no, I really like these, they're really good. The last kind of makeup-y thing that I got was also from my friend Jade and she got me this little um, sign and it says My Boudoir. And it has some little nail varnishes on it, and yeah, it's really cute. I've hung it next to my bed, and I've hung it next to my like makeup stand. And it's from a brand called um, Let's Makeup, uh, or www.containergroup.co.uk. You know, it's designed in Cornwall, apparently. But yeah, I really, really love this. If you watched my um, 
first ever like vlogmas on my vlog channel, link below. Um, I think I showed this in it and said that I liked it or if I didn't show it I definitely saw it when I was out with her that day and so she picked this up for me and I just think it's so cute and yeah, really love this. Next I got some kind of, I got some CDs and I got Taylor Swift Speak Now which I love, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, which is also another great album. Then I got Ellie Goulding Halcyon Days. Ellie Goulding really annoys me with her albums actually because last year I got Halcyon and then this year if I wanted the second CD you had to buy the first and second CD together so you open it up and it's like this massive great big thing. And so I've already got this CD but now I had to buy it again to get this CD. It's really annoying. I'm, yeah, that annoyed me. But yeah, she's really pretty. She's just, you know, she's Ellie Goulding. She's like gorgeous. So yeah, got that. Love the second album. I also got Monsters University, which I haven't watched yet because it's in the wrapper and I haven't even seen this in the cinema, but I wanted to see it in the cinema so bad and I never got around to it. And then I um, saw it come out on DVD and I was like, I want it. It's amazing. So yeah, I got that. I can't wait. Then I got a book. I got The Fault in Our Stars and I got this as my like tree present because in my family we do like main presents in the morning and then we have, everyone has like a tree present under the tree and we open them after dinner in the evening, like a small present. So I got this book and as you can see I've started to read it. Um, I've only read like the small bit, not the massive bit. And so far I really really like it. I can see what all the hype is about it. At first I was like this is kind of boring. You kind of have to like read through it and it's one of those books which really kind of makes you think and it's like they use lots of big words and I like big worded books. So yeah, definitely like this, recommend this. It's like, I think you can get this for as little as about three or four pounds on Amazon. So if you're looking for a new book to read, definitely read this. I've just read the Hunger Games trilogy like the second time and I was like, can't really read it for the third straight after because that's just sad. So yeah, I've got this now to read, so I'm happy. And I'm using like a really cute little heart ribbon to, um, as my bookmark, so yeah, love that. Another thing that if you know me kind of well, you'd know that I really love is Downton Abbey. So my boyfriend got me Downton Abbey series two on DVD, which I adore. And um, I've already watched, I haven't watched, I mean, I already watch it because my disc drive, my laptop isn't working and I don't have a DVD player in my room. So then I have to go downstairs and watch it. And then my dad will complain and be like, oh, I wanna watch Downton Abbey. And I'll be like, hmm. So yeah, I haven't got a chance to watch loads of it. I've watched the first disc, um, there's like four discs in here, but it's amazing. It's the one where they're in the wartime. And if you know Downton Abbey, you'll know that that's like a really great series because it's when Matthew and Mary get together. I just love that series. It's the most, it's probably one of my favorites actually. So yeah, got that. And also, this is probably one of my favorite presents that I actually got, it's so cool. It's a Downton Abbey calendar. Like who knew they did Downton Abbey calendars? Like I will love my sister forever for getting me this. It's amazing. So like, you know, I'll go through the pages. I can't get them. So each uh, month you have a different character and it's beautiful and amazing. Lady Mary is my favourite and I can't wait for March just so I can have her face on my wall. In fact, I might just skip February or no, I like February as well. I like Branson. Um, yeah, so that's my little sick, like my sick, my sad fangirl moment. And I literally like squealed when I opened this because I didn't even know they did them. So it was even more exciting. So yeah, got me some Downton Abbey. Okay, we're losing light, so I'm going quick as I can. I also got for my camera, because I have the Canon 650D, if you don't know, I got a little Canon um, remote control so that I can kind of, you know, take pictures and stuff from a distance. And this has already proved useful because I took a massive family photo when I was up visiting my family in between Christmas and New Year. And this was really useful because I could just sit there like, you know, taking pictures. So yeah, really cool little present. And it has a little pocket of its own, so I thought it was really cute. Couple of random presents. I got some really cute cozy socks from, I think they're from Primark, yeah, they're from Primark, and they're just like these, you know, you get those like little duo fiber, like, oh, they're just comfy socks. I love comfy socks. And my mum got these for me, and you know, you've got to appreciate comfy socks. Next, I also got a little revision pack because I've got loads and loads of trial exams to revise for at the moment, so I got an index card holder. Then inside, there was a um, little you know sticky note arrow things um some a block of um notepad thing what are they called they're like little um sticky notepad whatever you want to call it i can't remember and then i got a whole load of what are they called like index cards which i've already used a whole load of to make some textiles revision cards and all the rest so yeah i just thought that was really cute because i've no i didn't even know they did like little card holder boxes so when i opened this i was like Oh, it's one of those thoughtful presents, you know. So yeah, got that. Now moving on to kind of shoes and clothing. I got a new pair of Converse's. 
They're not in the box, obviously, because I have worn them. Oh, I never noticed that on the bottom of the box. That's pretty cool. I got the burgundy ones, which are looking nice and grubby already, because I've worn them a couple of times. They're just burgundy all-star ones. They're slightly different. I had the red ones last time. They're slightly different, because they say um, Converse above the all-stars bit, and my last ones didn't say that, and they said it on the tongue as well. But yeah, I really like these. I had red ones before, but I wanted some burgundy ones just to mix it up a little bit, you know? And yeah, I really like the boxes that the Converse is coming. They just just looks nice so yeah useful so i've got a mini confession on the whole clothing front i got a pair of um river island like legging jegging things they're in the wash i got a top from pull and bear which i love but i spilled bleach down it when i was cleaning once i had to clean the toilet and i was like like not the toilet the bathroom like last minute i was like ready to go out i was like ah, ah. so i quickly did it and then i came out and i looked at my top and i had bleach all down it so i've ordered a new one and i have to throw that in the bin so i don't have that to show you and then i got a really gorgeous dress from river island and that's in the wash too so <laughs> i have failed on the clothing front but if you want to look at my dress it's on uh, my instagram down below i have posted loads of pictures of me wearing it and my 2013 favorites i was wearing the dress as well so yeah that's my whole little clothing thing also i am a big well, not a big. I'm. I've gotten into running lately. Um, I did a running course and stuff. So my mum got me because I always steal her running stuff. She got me this Caramel two bottle belt. Um, and if you know, like, if you're a runner, you know that like these belts are really useful. Well, for me they are anyway. Because I put my phone in the little pocket, and then I have my headphones coming out of it. And um, for me, water bottles. I had one of those ones that you can like put your hand. Um, you can like hold onto it. Like there's a hole in the middle. But I've got really small hands and wrists, so I just slit it straight through. So then it's like around my wrist, and I run with it. But I think the fact that they'll be on my belt will be a lot easier. Um, and also they're two little ones. So if you're running with your friend or something, you can take one for them as well. And yes, yeah, so I think this is really cute. It's a really cool present. And on the label it says $17.99, but I don't think my mum would have paid $17.99 for this. So yeah, really good idea, actually. I also got some running clothes. So I got these um, running, what are they? They're running trousers from Gola, Gola Active. And they're like just leggings and they're kind of, I can't figure out if these are going to be full length or just like, they're kind of, I think they're going to be like three quarters. So you know, you, I, the one, only other pair I've got are like just above my knee or just below my knee I think they are. But I think these ones will be like halfway between my knee and my ankle. So yeah, they should be pretty good. And Or if not full length because I'm pretty short. So yeah, just some plain black ones. And then I got a matching kind of, kind of, I don't know if it's, it's like a top slash jumper. It's really unattractive, but I'm going to wear it. It's got like a polar neck. Oh, it's the phone. So yeah, as I was saying, this top, it's got like a little polar neck and then it's just got a zip on it and it's long sleeved, which is great because my, my also, another thing with my running stuff is none of it's long sleeved because it's all like summer stuff. And so yeah, it's just like a plain jumper with purple accents to it. And yeah, really looking forward to wearing these so I can go out running again because I haven't been running since way before Christmas because I just kind of fell out of the habit with all the stuff that was going on with Christmas and whatever. So yeah. Next is chocolate. So I have loads of chocolate which I've already eaten, but these are the things I managed to save. Um, my boyfriend got me this Penny the Penguin, which is really cute in this little case. And I thought it was cute and I wanted to show it in the video, so that's why I've saved him. And so yeah, he's really cute. Then my nan got me this massive set of Kinder Buen Buenos. Like literally it's massive, you get five, five double bars in here. So yeah, really looking forward to eating these. I've only eaten one so far. But yes, really, this is massive. I opened it, I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, and then the usual kind of every every year my mum gets me, my sister, my cousin, one of these. Um, it's a Cadbury's selection box. I think these are just like you there's nothing in it, it's in my it's in the other it's in my little perfume tin actually one of these. I think you just have to get one of these. If you're like from England and you get you can get these, like I think it's like a tradition, like every child should get one of these. Because like not even child, every human should get one of these because they're just tradition. I love them. Yeah. So I actually think that was everything I got for Christmas. Apart from the things I didn't include, like the things that are boring. Not boring. Boring boring for you guys, not for me, you know, that sort of thing. I think that was everything. I feel like I've missed something out really obvious and I feel like I'm really, really bad if the person that got me it watches this, so I'm really sorry. Also, I'm really, really thankful for everything I got. Obviously, I'm not trying to like show off and brag and be like, I got this, this and this. Like, I actually really appreciate the things that I got. And next up's my birthday, 29th of January, guys. I'll do what I got, what I got for my birthday video, hopefully just after that as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Leave me questions down below for a Q&A I'm going to do very soon. And I'll see you next time. Bye.